Hi everybody and welcome to your short and sweet lesson about dichotomous keys. Now dichotomous, big word, but it's a very simple process once you get used to it. So hang with me and reach out if you have any questions, okay? The first thing that we're gonna talk about is what we use a dichotomous key for. So scientists can use a key, which is essentially a set of steps that help them classify what an organism is. They look at different characteristics of many different organisms, and we start looking at the process of elimination. Does it have this? If yes, go here. If no, go there. Um, until we get our characteristics narrowed down to a very specific organism. So to demonstrate this for you, instead of using organisms, I'm going to use shoes, okay? And I'm going to move my video here so you can kind of see better. Um, the first thing that we have is we have one, two, three, four, five, six different shoes, just like we might have six different organisms, and we don't know what is what. So we're going to have to look at certain characteristics. The first step says, does it have high heels? Does it have high heels? If yes, go to step two. If no, continue to the next step, okay? So um, here we've got, uh, we would select a shoe. So let's see here, where's my pen? I'm gonna say, I don't, I wanna find out what this organism is here, okay? So I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is called. Step one, does it have high heels? Yes or no? The answer would be no, so I'm not gonna go to step two. I'm gonna go down to the next step here. It does not have high heels, that's correct. So I'm gonna go to step three, okay? Skip, skip, I'm here. Does it have laces? Yes, it has laces. I'm gonna go to step four. Skip this step, I'm here. Does it have a swoosh? No, it does not have a swoosh. So I can't go to it, this. I'm gonna go to the next step here. It does not have a swoosh, that's correct. These are Sperry Top Sliders, which was all the rage back in my day. Top, uh, Sperry Top Sliders, okay? So this is how we would identify an organism, or in this case, a shoe. Okay, so you could do that, follow the same process for any one of these, um, of these uh, shoes or organisms. Okay, so I'm gonna challenge you to pause the video now, circle a different pair of shoes and try to key them out to see if you can't uh, determine the name of the shoe. Here would be another example that we could use in um, trying to key out an actual organism. Okay, so step one, remember, you either follow the instructions and go to the step, and if that does not apply, you go to the next thing down, okay? So step 1A, if the fish, let's see, I'm gonna circle a fish. Circle a fish, I don't know what this one is. If the fish shape is long and skinny, go to step two. Is this long and skinny? No, so I'm gonna just continue down the line. If the fascia is not long and skinny, go to step three. Good, I need to go to step three. I'm gonna skip step two. Okay, if the fish has both eyes on the top of his head, go to step four. Well, this is a fish I covered where the eyes would be when I circled, but yes, both eyes would be right here on the top of the head. I'm gonna go to step four. I'm gonna skip step um, three B. So now I'm here. If the fish has a long whip-like tail, it is a spotted eagle ray. Does it have a long whip-like tail? Yes, it must be a spotted eagle ray. Okay, on the other hand, if it had a short blunt tail, it was a peacock flounder. Hmm, not this one. This is not a peacock flounder. See, there's an eye here on this guy and an eye here short, blunt tail, this would be your peacock flounder. That's not what we have. So this is the process of using a dichotomous key to classify organisms.